Morning Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and I'm Mike D. Well I'm out here this morning, it is absolutely beautiful out here. I got a little summer with me. And I think the main plan for the day is I think we're going to do some uh, no wake trolling. We're going to look for some bluefish, maybe some jacks and some Spanish and ladyfish and stuff along that nature. And then I think we're also maybe going to look for some sheephead later on in the day. Maybe jig around for some pompano. I'm going to go look offshore, see what it, it looks like. But that's the main goal for the day. So wish us luck. Hopefully we'll get something. And we'll see you in a little bit. guys we're at our first no egg zone so i got my little rattle trap out we're gonna start off with that and see uh if we can pull out a couple bluefish doing that if we start getting some hits i'll rig up summer with a little bomber and we'll try it out for a little while all right guys i'm hooked up to a little bit of trolling I don't feel very big though i don't feel very big at all I don't know what it is yet. What is this thing? Oh, this is a little blue fish. There he is. Well, I would say you gotta go to the no egg zones anyway. You might as well put a plug out and troll. But this where it can be a little dangerous. Got a hold of them. You gotta hook pretty good. Okay, I got the plug now. Alright, come on buddy. Gotcha. Hey, someone hand me those blue pliers. He has the pliers in his pocket. Yeah, I can't reach those though. There he goes. He hit that pretty hard. He had it all up in there. There you go. See, buddy. And we're going to try our luck with some sheep head. We're going to start off with some sand fleas. If we start getting some bites, I may go buy some uh, live feather crabs from 38 bait here in New Smyrna. So let's see how what we do. Wish us luck, y'all. Drop this down to the bottom real quick. I'm just using sand fleas on the bottom of the little fish finder rig. Let's see if they're dead sand fleas. Let's see if uh, I can get one on camera right here. Oh, missed it. Nice hit though. Nice fish. Nice sheephead. First fish of the day right here. All right, there we go. All right, guys. Nice little sheephead. Oh, nice little sheep head, guys. Let's see. Hell oh, yeah, 13 inch. Little 13 incher. Awesome. First fish of the day. Little guy. Little sheepy. Little, little dinky dink. It's a cool little fish, though. Oh, come on, bud. Pretty little guy. So many pinfish down there just tearing us up. That was not No. I was using the sand flea, hooking them about like that. A little fish finder rig, a little weight, swivel, about 13 inches a liter to a one octopus style hook. You guys, hooked up. Little guy. Little dinker. Hey 
Hey guys, well we weren't doing no good sheephead fishing. Catch a lot of small fish and a lot of bite catch. So we had the idea, I was uh, asked the other day in a comment, how come you can't target sea robins? Well, I've never really tried. There's always been a bycatch, so I got on this little drop off right here in about 14 feet of water. There's a nice little slope and it's a really hard sandy bottom. So we're gonna see if we can catch some. We're only gonna give it maybe 15, 20 minutes. See if there's anything here, but maybe there's some sea robins. Maybe I can figure something out because they are a delicious fish, man. They are awesome. I think they need a lot more credit than they're given. I know in the up north area, they are like in Jersey, New York, and those kind of areas, they target them and they're considered a really prized fish up there. And I know why, because they're absolutely incredible. So we're gonna give it a shot. So wish us luck. I don't think it's a sea robin, but we'll see what it is. Good girl. Is he fighting pretty good? That's a catfish. I hate cat. No. Oh, bummer. No. What's on it? I don't know. He's got some kind of weird stuff growing on his fin. He's dying. Weird stuff growing on his fin. Oh, wow. I got something good here, guys. This is a big fish. Oh, this is a really nice fish. Holy moly. Oh, this is a really nice fish. That thing was shaking its head. Oh man, I don't know what this is. Got it, Summer? This is a big fish. Big old pompano. Look at the size of that pompano. Out of the water. That is a huge pump. This is my PB pump right here. For real. Oh, this is definitely my PB pump. That is the biggest pompano I've ever caught. That thing is. That thing is stout, man. Well, that thing is huge. I did not know Pompano got that big. It's an old Pompano. That is a fat back. I was not expecting that. Sitting there jigging and jigging for pumps. Didn't catch anything. And Throw a dead shrimp out on the bottom just to see what's there. And lo and behold, Mac Daddy Pompano. Look at the size of that pump. Oh man, that thing is huge. I cannot get him to come up. Got him. Wow. That is a big pompano. Holy cow. That is definitely my PB pump. Oh my goodness. It's so big. That thing is huge, guys. Guys, look at the size of that pompano. Don't let it fall overboard. That is a Mac. Holy cow. I got him hooked really good too. Man. Guys, that's a almost a 16 inch pompano. 15 and three quarters at the fork. That is a Mac. I'm real happy about that. Hey Jay Rockers, well I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I mean, it was kind of a tough day fishing out there today. We tried a little bit of everything. We started off looking for some bluefish, doing the no wake trolling. Only got one bluefish. So then we went all the way to New Smyrna, see if we could find some sheep's head. We found the sheep head, but no real good ones. Just a whole bunch of little ones. I got one keeper out of the deal. We even tried a little area for some sea robins. We didn't catch any sea robins. Caught a catfish, a couple catfish. And on the way back, I decided, you know, I'm going to go to this one little area where I've caught some pompano before. I'm going to try jigging with my wobbler jig or the goofy jig. See if I can catch a couple pompano. I jigged for like 20-30 minutes. I didn't catch anything on the jig. So I sent a dead shrimp on the bottom just to see what was there. Was there any whiting or whatever. And I got that Mac. That is the biggest pompano I've ever caught. I don't know if they get bigger. I'm sure they do. 
but I usually only catch them around 12, 13 inches, and this one was pushing 16, so I was really happy about that. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to thank every one of y'all, every one of y'all, for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you guys very much. You guys mean a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications because I upload videos quite regularly. Until I get to see you guys soon here on the water again, guys, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. Hey, Jetty Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jedi Rockers.